Hey, we're going to do another uh, kind of custom video or every mechanics video, if you will. And what we got here is obviously, uh, if you guys have seen a million cafe guys are building these bikes and putting the knobbies on and getting rid of the fender. And on the stock fender, you had this guy that would take and it would hug these cables close to the fender so they're not kind of way out like this and <clears throat> protect it from coming in any contact with the tire. So that's our big goal here. So you take that fender off, you got to do something with this. I want to show you what we did. You can take a look, it's a little bit of an experiment here. This is just some welding rod. Um, we just, you know, started with some aluminum. We'll probably switch it to a steel one just to make it stronger. But you can see here that this is secured now, just like it would be on a stock motorcycle. But the only thing we do different is just put maybe another little bend or something like this so that you know the wires aren't necessarily you know hanging way out in the wind like that but they won't come in contact uh, with the bike one thing we just did is you just took you know a uh, welding rod like this and you could just loop it around do whatever you want come up with any sizes it's nice to make it out of aluminum first because it's really easy to bend and you could come up with the shape that you desire you can see here where we put a washer and didn't just take and smash this uh, the screw right through the uh, wire because what that would do is it end up just spreading it right back open on the curl that you made so you want to take and have something you can pinch against it the other thing that I'd recommend is that when you do something like this I mean the majority of us are not engineers and you're taking a risk on what you do for fabrication so in the case like this if you make a bracket like this something that's not really strong I mean you know the stock one was obviously shorter right on a fender here this is going to have a crazy amount of bending on there. Pay attention to what you're doing and check it. Don't try and think you're going to put this on here and ride the bike 10,000 miles. You know, ride it for you know a few miles and check it. See what's going on. Everything you do in this area is risky. You're taking a big risk. Your best bet is to keep a fender on it, keep a way to retain it, and then. Uh, but we know that people aren't doing that. This custom world, you're seeing all kinds of this stuff. Here's the difference I want you to make. Doing something like this is protecting it. Doing nothing is a big risk that this is going to go through here and rub. This is your brake line. If that rubs through, we're going to have a really bad day. All right, keep on wrenching. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.